Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my updated hair care routine. I've been reading the comments and this has been probably the most highly requested video within the last three or four months. The only thing is I don't have the exact color formula to give you guys for my hair. That is another question I receive constantly, whether it's on Instagram or here. Honestly, every time I go at Taylor, my hairstylist kind of does something a little bit different, but I will have all of her info listed down below. That way, if you guys do live in the Houston area and you're looking for a new hairstylist, I would highly recommend her. She's incredible, not only at cutting and styling, but balayage is definitely her thing. Basically, she takes some bleach in there. I know she's a big fan of Wella, the, the Wella hair color line. So we do just some toning after she bleaches. Sometimes we don't even do that much toning just because my hair seems to do it really well with that bleach but we never take it all the way up to the root which is really nice that way I don't really have to do much upkeep I probably only go about two to three times to get no probably twice a year to do color and then I should be going more to get trims but I've been kind of lazy about trims lately so. one other quick thing I want to throw at you is that this video is being sponsored by my friends over at Ovation Hair so thank you to them I know some people can be incredibly touchy about sponsored videos so I just wanted to put that out they're now that way someone's not like oh my god it's so sponsored yes it is sponsored but guess what I really only share products with you guys that I genuinely love and like incorporate into my own personal routine I'm not gonna put my integrity on the line and share a product that I don't believe in with you guys that's just not worth it to me so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with their product first I guess one other quick thing I should mention is kind of a hair profile I feel like I'm putting like my hair on tinder or something I have incredibly coarse and thick hair. Some people can have fine hair but have a lot of it, but each of my individual strands are also more on the coarse side, kind of like a very coarse, thick Asian hair. My mom being Korean, I feel like I did kind of get her hair texture, so I think that is another reason it does really well with dealing with bleach. My hair doesn't get damaged too easily, but either way, I wanna make sure I'm keeping it in its like tip-top shape. So honestly, they had sent me this product about two weeks ago but a week or so before that i had actually purchased it because my friend was texting me she was asking me if i'd heard anything about this just because she has both very fine and thin hair she said she went ahead and ordered it so i was kind of curious myself and then the radio station that i listen to is constantly talking about ovation hair so i was like okay i'm just gonna order a bottle and see what it's all about they do offer full-on hair systems but this is kind of their like well-known token product so this is the cell therapy hair and scalp treatment thicker, stronger, longer. So basically this product is made up of ton of key vitamins, botanical extracts, proteins, amino acids, and those are really just supposed to kind of bind and penetrate into your hair shaft just to create like a really, I guess, strong barrier. So the stronger and thicker it gets, the less breakage you're going to get. This product is also sulfate free, paraben free, and cruelty free. So how you use this is you shampoo your hair. You can use the Ovation shampoo or any shampoo you have in your shower. Shampoo your hair first, and then you're just gonna take anywhere from about a quarter to half dollar size. Like I mentioned, I have really thick and coarse hair. So I definitely use something more on the half dollar size and you massage it into your scalp and just kind of brush it all the way through to your ends. Well, not brush, comb. If your mama didn't teach you this, you never brush your hair when it's wet. I feel like that was like the main thing they preached to us in cosmetology school. Just because when your hair is wet, you'll notice the elasticity is definitely a lot like more flexible. So if you're sitting there brushing your hair, you're extending it out to where it can snap and cause breakage. So it's always important to use like a wide tooth comb. One thing that I did want to mention about this is since it is made up of proteins that are very good for your hair, if you didn't know, you can actually kind of I guess the best way to say it is like OD your hair on protein. You don't want to put too much protein in your hair. So if you have something else in your hair care system that has a lot of protein, you may want to put that to the side for a little bit while using this just because an overuse of protein on your hair can actually have the opposite effect and end up making it like stiff and dry and hay like. So they really recommend only using this two to three times per week which is perfect for me just because you guys know I don't wash my hair on the daily. The scent of this, okay, if you guys have a Bahama Bucks near you or you're just really familiar with like the scent of pina coladas, that's exactly what this smells like and I love it. It's just like super coconut. It smells like a straight up, I can't think of what it's called at Bahama Bucks, but it's like this coconut, I think there's actually some like coconut and vanilla ice cream and then it's like a snow cone and pineapple juice. It smells exactly like that. It smells so good. Like you basically want to put a straw in it and drink it, but I wouldn't recommend that. But what I really like about the cell therapy is that it really caters to all different hair types. So whether you have ethnic hair, thin hair, coarse hair, frizzy hair, colored hair, mature hair, it's gonna work for you just because if you're someone who's not using heat tools every day, but you're still outside, you're still getting environmental damage to your hair from UV rays. So just like a good skincare product, it takes a good, I would say three to four weeks before you notice a real difference. I think on the website they said 
four to six weeks. For me, I thought it was three to four weeks when you really started to notice a difference in like volume, bounce, shine. It just really takes care of the state of your hair. It makes it much more stronger and healthier. So if you've been noticing your hair just looks brittle and weak lately, I would highly recommend it checking out therapy at ovationhair.com. I will have the link listed down below for you guys. It's really worked well into my routine. I've been getting a ton of questions. So yeah, there's kind of one of my secret products in my routine recently. Okay, so now moving on to the other products. I have a ton of stuff here. Unfortunately, I would say three, two to three of like the key, I want to say ingredients, products in my hair care routine I ordered. I was hoping they would be here by now, but Sephora for me always takes so long. I need to go ahead and just bite the bullet and do the free, is it like two day shipping or something? Now, as I mentioned a million times, I do not wash my hair every day. And I honestly think that is a big key in how I get the volume in my hair. I get a lot of questions about that and it's because I don't wash my hair every day. I feel like I have to preach about this constantly but people are always like, oh that's gross, I can't deal with it. Like my hair gets too greasy. It's because you're washing your hair every day. Unless you're like out and like sweating up a storm and your scalp is just like saturated in sweat, then you really don't have to be washing your hair. Whenever you do wash your hair every day, you're basically ridding your scalp of all those natural oils. So then that same day your scalp is like, okay, I need some more oil, let's go ahead and get that production going. But if you space it out by a couple of days, your scalp's gonna realize like, okay, there's enough there, I can slow my roll a bit. Dry shampoo, make it your best friend. Okay, so now that I have that spiel out of the way, the shampoos that I love are really kind of like clarifying shampoos just because after a couple days, you do kind of get some built up residue from the dry shampoo. So one of my holy grails is the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special Shampoo. When I first bought this, I actually bought it for my husband just because I knew he really liked products that kind of left that minty, tingly feeling behind. If you have never used tea tree shampoo before, it's incredible. Don't be confused though, because they have like lemon sage, lavender that all comes in the same packaging get the tea tree one this is great for color treated hair as well it is safe okay so besides tea tree shampoo obviously since my hair is not naturally this color I really want to protect the blonde and keep it from getting like orange and brassy so to do that I go in with a purple shampoo a tip that I can give you with purple shampoo is you really want to find one that is deep and like a really really vivid rich violet purpley blue color if it's something that's like a pastel violet you're basically wasting your money don't even bother you might as well just be shampooing your hair with normal stuff because it's not going to do anything you want one that's actually going to deposit some of that color and just really rinse away that brassiness so the two that i have right now this is the paul mitchell platinum blonde shampoo you can get this at ulta i'm gonna say this is 12.95 13.95 something like that at ulta but for instance as you can see I don't want to get this on my hand. I'll show you the next bottle, but it's one that is very, very rich and vibrant. So you leave this in your hair anywhere from three to five minutes and then you rinse it out. But like I said, since we're, we're, we're as in me, I'm only washing my hair about two, three to four times a week. I'll still go in with a tea tree and then I follow it up with the purple shampoo. So another one that I love that is a bit pricier is the Pravana purple shampoo, um, or I'm sorry, the Violet Mask. There's actually a shampoo, a conditioner, and then a mask. Ulta started carrying Pravana now. That one is probably one of the like deepest purple ones and I've actually left that one in my hair for too long before and ended up with a gray tinge in my hair, so you do wanna be careful. But this one I've never tried. I honestly don't have that much experience with the matrix line i know a lot of people love matrix matrix biolage but i don't know i've always kind of skipped them over but two or three of the girls at ulta recommended this and said that they loved it so this is the so silver color obsessed always look for one that has a deep purple color see what i mean how this is just a straight up pigmented violet that's how you know it's gonna really deposit the color and just get rid of all of that brassiness. As for conditioners, I really don't have but one mask that I really, really love. I actually, no. You know, another one that I loved was the Numi Hydro Punch. I haven't ordered that in forever though. But I love the Amica. It's a sea buckthorn, sea buck, that was so weird to say. Sea buckthorn berry mask. You can buy them at Sephora. I don't know if it's online only though. All the Sephora's I've been to, I've never seen it carried in store, but I do love that hair mask. That's actually one that I purchased, but it didn't make it here yet. So the one that's currently in my shower, if any of you guys were curious, this is just from Brocado Cloud9 Miracle Repair Treatment. It's okay, it's not life-changing. Um, it is like, it definitely detangles and softens my hair, but it's not like, like I said, it's not life-changing. If you notice that your hair is super, super dry and you're looking for a really good mask, I 
recommend doing coconut oil treatments there's a million different tutorials online but basically you want to get like pure coconut oil you melt it down and you just saturate that into your hair I don't really ever like going in my scalp I always concentrate my conditioners into mid shaft to ends otherwise you end up with like heavy weighed down roots so yeah that's my current conditioner I feel kind of bad that's kind of boring but like I said, I have yet to find like the conditioner for me. Now moving on to styling products. Dry shampoo is hands down my favorite hair product. More than any shampoo, more than any conditioner. I basically eat, drink, live dry shampoo. Like I would probably skip out on foundation if that meant I could have dry shampoo for the rest of my life. So one of my absolute favorites that's actually kind of a all-in-one like texturizer volumizer dry shampoo is the Orbe dry texturizing spray that thing lasted me I want to say six months because you really only need the tiniest amount if you have very limp hair and you feel like you can't get volume in there check that one out it's so good in fact I'm a little annoyed at myself I feel like my hair should be better for a video when we're talking all about hair but it's really hot outside y'all like I feel like my hair which is like ooh, we went and met Keegan, my husband, for lunch at this ramen place, and we were outside just for like the tiniest bit. My hair was like not having it. So yeah, definitely check that one out if you have a little bit more money to splurge on a hair product. Okay, but the current dry shampoos I have right now, this is the Redken Pillow Proof Blow Dry Two Day Extender. This has a very nice, clean, fresh, minty smell. I would say this one, and let me grab the other ones. I have a couple of dry shampoos that are definitely more of just a true dry shampoo where they're just absorbing the oil and not really adding extra like grit and texture in there. So I would say this one, and then the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo, if you guys are fans of the Moroccan oil scent. The dry shampoo smells just like that. They have it in blonde tones as well as, or I guess light tones as well as dark tones. If you're like me and you like dry shampoos that add like texture and suck up any extra residue, these are some of my favorites. I'm not being sponsored by Amika, I promise. I just really like their products. This is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. They also have a texturizing spray that is absolutely incredible. Hands down, the cutest packaging too. I love that. So this one, Batiste, this is one that you can find at the drugstore. Incredibly affordable. When I first used this, I don't know if it was the scent that I got or what. I was not crazy about it. Then I was over at my friend's Leanne's house, Leanne says, and she had this one on her vanity. So I tried it and I ended up loving it. It smells super super summery oh i didn't even know this is a uk brand huh did not know that but there's tons of different styles like there's a leopard one there's one with cherries this is cute packaging too but i definitely prefer this one this one here this is the not your mother's clean freak refreshing dry shampoo once again i feel like this is more of just like the ones that absorb oil don't add too too much extra volume i like it it's not my favorite but i'm just trying to finish it off anyways Okay, now moving on to, I guess, texturizing sprays. After dry shampoos, anything that gives volume and texture, I'm like, we homies. Okay, so for that, I have one of the more affordable ones. This is the Boost It High Lift Creation Spray from L'Oreal. I want to say this is a pretty darn close dupe of the Redken Quick Tease. Only this one, I would say, is a bit stronger. But for the cost difference, I would definitely recommend going with this one. Both of them are very similar. I just kind of like lift up my hair on one side. Like, let me go like this. And then I'll spray some in here and I'll kind of let it dry. It's really nice if you have a blow dryer and just give it like a blast of heat and then flip it over. I rarely use a teasing comb anymore. I'll kind of get my hands like this and do like a raking upward motion just like that to kind of add some volume in there. So those are some really good texturizing sprays besides the Orbe one because that one is hands down my favorite. Um, if I'm doing more of beachy waves like in damp hair, Sasha Wan is always good. This is the Ocean Mist. I haven't really tried many other products from this line, but I do love the Ocean Mist. Um, hairsprays, since I use texturizing sprays, I rarely find the need to go in with a hairspray just because I feel like a majority of the texturizing sprays that I use, for instance, the Orbe one, I go in from underneath as well. So that kind of serves as my hairspray. Um, I have this here. This was another one that I forgot to mention. This is the Not Your Mother's Double Take Dry Finish Texture Spray. I've actually really been liking this. Not as good as Orbe, but I mean, it shouldn't be because this is like probably less than quarter of the price, but this is still a great alternative. If you're very, very picky about your hair, like you can't stand any extra like crunch or anything in there, I think this one would be good because it's definitely 
more of a light finish. The hairsprays that I do have, this is the L'Oreal L Net Satin. I hate the scent of it just because it reminds me of doing like roller sets and perms on like all the little sweet grandmas that would come into cosmetology school. Don't get me wrong, they were adorable and I love them to death, but I just could not stand the scent of the hairspray because it's like the whole school would smell like this hairspray. But this is nice because it holds, but then it's brushable as well. So you're not left with like stiff, gross, crunchy curls. Two hairsprays that are a bit more on the pricier side, but that I really like. This is the Kerastase K Lac Noir. This is definitely more, it's not crunchy, crunchy, but it definitely has more of a crunch than the L'Oreal one. And then this one here, I would say out of the hairsprays, this is probably my all time favorite. This is from Alterna, the caviar line. This is the Working Hairspray Ultra Dry Control. It's free of paraben, sulfates, how do you say that? Phthalates and synthetic color. I love this hairspray. It's just like the Elnet one. I feel like it's extremely brushable and I like the smell of it. It's just fresh and clean. A texturizing product that I think is always in my collection no matter what this is from big sexy hair this is the powder play volumizing and texturizing powder i love this stuff there's so many affordable versions of this but i've tried so many of them the schwartz cuff got to be is probably the closest to this but that one I feel like can get sticky very, very easily. This is a product that you kind of have to practice with if you've never used it before. I would recommend sprinkling it in your fingers first and then like kind of doing that raking motion into your hair just to get used to it. And then once you kind of realize how much you need, then you can just go in with the actual sprinkling method. It kind of just has like a baby powder type of packaging. So you just sprinkle some of this into your roots and then zhuzh it up and you have like this awesome, huge lion hair that I'm all for. As for hair oils, I have a ton in my collection, but the one that I constantly go back to is from Moroccan Oil. This is just the Moroccan Oil Treatment Light. Once again, just like a conditioner, I concentrate this from mid shaft ends. You can use it on wet hair or dry hair. Not only does it make your hair like soft and silky and keep away frizz, but it just smells amazing too. I, I can't even describe like what does Moroccan Oil smell like? It's just like, it's like not sweet or floral. It's like a warm, clean type of scent. I love that smell. But yeah, that is it for my updated hair care routine. I hope you guys found this helpful. I know a ton of you guys were requesting it. If you guys had any other questions or if you guys are wanting to see more hair tutorials, definitely hit that a thumbs up button. Leave me your request down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.